Shame on Sainsbury's! Shame on Sainsbury's! Where is your decency? Is something funny? No. Are you going to be transparent with your customers? Or are we going to force transparency? Are you? Yeah, I'm the corporate affairs director, Sainsbury's. Are you corporate affairs director, are you? We're going down into the gas. We're going to get caught. Is this Sainsbury's here? Uh, yeah. Come inside. <laughs> Is this Sainsbury's uh, headquarters? Are we not allowed in? Are we allowed in, please? Just uh, do a protest there. Can you please allow us in? To do a legal protest? Would you mind if we come inside? So the Do you mind if we come inside to uh, play some screams so the Sainsbury's workers can hear the screams of their uh, victims? <laughs> if they don't want us inside, we won't go inside, obviously, but uh, just politely asking. Sainsbury's, if you haven't heard the screams of the pigs who suffer to death in CO2 gas chambers, then listen up. The CO2 gas chamber footage on YouTube from a UK gas chamber. If you haven't seen it yet, I recommend you look it up and see your victims suffer to death in their own feces in agony and pain. What are you going to be done? Too bad. We're exercising our legal right to protest. Okay. If you're and inconvenience, maybe you should look at these signs and see what's happening to the pigs. Yeah? So what in this building I got to uh, do you? We're not blocking you, dude. The police are blocking you. Shame on Sainsbury's! 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 Shame on Sainsbury's. Shame on Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's, is that you looking over? Which one of you is in charge of Sainsbury's marketing campaigns? Chambers suffer immense pain, terror, fear, and agony before their horrifying death. Shame on Sainsbury's! Sainsbury's, are you going to be transparent with your customers or are we going to force transparency? Will you let your customers know on every packet of bacon? that that pig who's chopped up inside of it suffered and was tortured in CO2 gas chambers. Gas is torture, stop the slaughter. Gas is torture, stop the slaughter. Gas is torture, stop the slaughter. Why don't you tell your customers about the suffering that pigs have to endure in these gas chambers? so that the customers can make an informed choice. Stop misleading customers. Gas is torture, stop the slaughter. Gas is torture, stop the slaughter.
listen to their screams. How do you live with yourself knowing that these pigs are literally being tortured in gas chambers that supply Sainsbury's? How can you sleep at night marketing lies to the consumer? Where is your integrity? Where is your empathy? Where is your humanity? Sainsbury's, you have an opportunity now to show some integrity. To let the customer know that your suppliers are torturing pigs in CO2 gas. We are not being hyperbolic. We're not being overly emotional. Look at the footage. Read the science. It's been out for decades. It's been out for decades. And don't tell us there's no alternative. We know what the alternative is. It's to not do it. So why are you still complicit? Shame on Sainsbury's. Shame on Sainsbury's. Shame on Sainsbury's. Shame on Sainsbury's. We know that the consumer buys what you supply and you supply what the consumer wants. How are the consumers supposed to make an informed choice when you haven't given them all the information? You are misleading consumers. You are not telling them the truth. That CO2 is torture. Shame on Sainsbury's. Shame on Sainsbury's. Shame on Sainsbury's. Shame on Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's, this is not about you only. We know that other supermarkets are also supplying consumers with pigs who were tortured in CO2 gas chambers. 90% of the pigs in this country are slaughtered using CO2 gas. You are misleading your customers. Tell them that these pigs are being tortured. Shame on Sainsbury's. Shame on Sainsbury's. Listen to the pigs scream in agony in CO2 gas chambers that supply Sainsbury's. How do you live with yourself? How can you sleep at night hearing those screams? Is something funny? No. Is something funny? Would you like to let us all know what's funny? I'm just trying to get to that. Oh uh, yeah? Well I'll ask we're the cops to... Oh yeah? Okay, but it's something funny about pigs screaming in you're gas chambers. I do not care, we're allowed to legally protest. Okay, yeah, fine. Okay, do you have a problem with legal protest? No, I don't. Do you like having rights? Yeah, do you like having rights? We'll ask the officers to let you in. They won't let me in because of you. That's not my decision, is it? We're allowed to legally protest. If it's inconveniencing you, it's if it's inconveniencing you, then why don't you ask Sainsbury's to offer some... Why don't you ask Sainsbury's to offer some transparency about their torture chambers where they torture pigs in CO2? Why don't you tell Sainsbury's to tell the public the truth. Gas is torture, stop the slaughter. Gas is torture, stop the slaughter. If you haven't seen the footage, go to YouTube now, type in UK pig gas chamber. There you will see the footage we attained from Pilgrim Slaughterhouse. We know all CO2 gas chambers are the same. If you'd like further evidence, then maybe we'll expose another one. Maybe we'll expose yours. Maybe we'll expose a gas chamber that directly supplies Sainsbury's. How would you feel about that? What would your press release look like? Sorry everyone, we understand animal welfare is of the utmost importance. Blah, 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 nonsense. Tell your customers the truth. Where is your decency? Give your customers the transparency they deserve so they can make an informed choice about CO2 gas chambers. Shame, shame, shame on you. Shame, shame, shame on you. We also know that you get red tractor supplied products and that 60% of the pigs in this country are stuck in cages so small they can't turn around. Why isn't that on the product? Why aren't you labelling accurately? Why aren't you telling people these pigs were imprisoned for six weeks at a time while they crushed their piglets to death and laid in their own feces? 
Why aren't you being transparent with your customers? Shame on Sainsbury's! Shame on Sainsbury's! Shame on Sainsbury's! How do you live with yourself knowing that you are misleading consumers into purchasing these products unknowingly, which destines more pigs to the gas chamber? Why aren't you letting customers make an informed choice? Why don't you tell them that CO2 gas tortures pigs to death? Listen to their screams! How do you sleep at night? Shame on Sainsbury's! Shame on Sainsbury's! Shame on Sainsbury's! Sainsbury's, are you going to give your customers transparency? Or are we going to force transparency? By sharing the footage of what pigs in CO2 gas chambers have to go through at every one of your stores. If you haven't seen Pignorant on Amazon Prime, I encourage you to watch it so you can make more informed choices about your marketing campaigns. Why are you lying to people? Why are you lying to compassionate people? Shame on Sainsbury's! Shame on Sainsbury's! Shame on Sainsbury's! Shame on Sainsbury's! Shame, 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 shame on you! Is something funny about pigs being tortured to death in CO2? You there! Do you think pigs being tortured to death in gas chambers is funny? How would you like it if it were you in their position? being tortured to death for someone's bacon sandwich. How uncivilized, how unethical, how immoral. Look at what happens to those poor animals. Sentient beings, intelligent beings, curious beings, suffering to death in their own feces, begging for mercy. Shame on Sainsbury's! Shame on Sainsbury's! Shame on Sainsbury's! Shame on Sainsbury's! Sainsbury's! And anyone who works for them, you have an opportunity now to give your customers the transparency they deserve. I think now will be a very good time to do that. Give them the transparency, tell them honestly, a statement that reflects the science of how pigs are being tortured in these gas chambers that supply Sainsbury's. And if customers are happy to pay for torture, then they can do it in an informed way, right? But if people don't want to pay for torture, then they don't have to pay for it. You're making them unknowingly pay for something they could be morally against. Happy pigs in your advertising. Happy pigs, even RSPCA assured pigs, go to the gas chamber. Give your customers some transparency. Shame on Sainsbury's! Shame on Sainsbury's! Hello? Hi. Oh, yes, hello? I'm the Corporate Affairs Director for Sainsbury's. Are you Corporate Affairs Director, yeah. are you? No, okay. You. Have you heard uh, what we've been I chanting? We filmed it. I haven't actually, I just arrived, so if you can let me know. Okay, so ba essentially, the, the reason we're here is because. Uh, Pigs are being tortured in CO2 gas chambers. Uh, I don't know if you know about that. I don't, but I will. Okay, go you should be. You should be inform yourself. Me and my team got the first footage from inside of a gas chamber and where, in the UK. Where is this happening? It's happening in gas chambers all over the UK. You think it's happening so in all of them. Ninety percent of the pigs in the UK are being gassed in CO2. Okay. Okay, and uh, we know for a fact, for a hundred percent fact, that you are being supplied to by companies that gas pigs. Do you pigs. know the name of those companies so yeah. I can look into it? You don't know who supplies you with, with pork? I do know who supplies the pork. Okay. You and you don't know how they kill the pigs? Check. I don't know that detail, but I could go and look into it. But if yeah. you give me the names uh, of the companies, I mean, uh, they're likely to be more than one. Yeah, well, I can tell you the names of the companies that do this to yeah. pigs, and then maybe you can see if they're supplying you. So I don't think Pilgrim's Pride is, but Pilgrim's UK is one. Yeah, I've heard of that one, actually, okay. but I don't think it is. A Cranswick is another one. Cranswick is one of our suppliers, yep. Yeah. Uh, I know. Um, Caro Foods. I think maybe you should look into Cranswick if they supply you. They do and, supply, okay. so I want to look into Okay, that. and uh, what would you do if footage come out of one of your suppliers' uh, CO2 gas chambers? What would you do? I need to look into the issue more closely because yeah. I don't understand. Do you, have, do you make any... What, what's your, what power do you have at this company? So I'm the Director of Corporate Affairs. Okay. So when issues like this are happening, it is my responsibility to look into them. Okay. I don't know the specific one in enough detail to understand it at the moment, but I will look into it and so, so your contact details. We're saying 
let the customer make an informed choice. They are buying the, these pack, this packaging and this marketing, right? You're allowing the, the industry too much. Why, we need a free market where people can make informed decisions and say, that, that by definition, these pigs are being tortured, right? By every scientific, uh, every scientific study done on this topic. Right? I will look into that, but I don't understand the okay. issue, so I... Well, yeah, well, you, but you, should, you should you should be informed, which, I will which is it gross negligence. Do. That is gross negligence. Because you're responsible now. I don't, who does your marketing? You're marketing tortured pigs to consumers, and they do not know. I will look into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do have you, very strong how, welfare guidelines, yeah, so yeah. if what you're saying is true, I will look into yeah, this. And this is supposedly the highest. There's no alternative for pigs. So you've got to tell your customers, they are being tortured. Are you okay with pay, for paying for that? If they're not okay, they can buy something else. They're still going to Sainsbury's. We, they can buy a product that doesn't contain this. But they're not being informed, so they're being misled because they, it's all green grass and pastures and, and oh, we, we supply a lot of RSPCA. Well, RSPCA pigs go to the gas chamber too. Let me answer. Let me look into this. Yeah, okay. I don't know enough about You can it. watch Pigner and it talks all about it. But about it, it okay. Moment, but it, really it, if Sainsbury's do not become transparent as soon as possible, we will force transparency because we've investigated one, and right now you have an opportunity to say to the customers, pigs are being literally tortured, cause immense suffering, pain, fear, agony, distress, respiratory distress, so, and, so and you, can, you can say that to them, or they're going to find out, or they're going to find out themselves by footage. Which, so, let me, I'm, I'm going to give you my undertaking. Yeah. I've listened to you. Yeah, you have. I don't know enough I appreciate that. to comment on it in detail today. There are lots of issues that I do know things about, but this one I don't know enough about yeah. to have an informed conversation with you today. But I promise to you that I will go away and look into it, and I will come back to you. Thank you. You've shown a lot of courage to come out here and to face a group full of protesters, so I want to commend you for that. But it is grossly negligent of Sainsbury's not to know about this. I understand your yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, because back. it's literal pigs being tortured, right? This is a serious topic. It's a I, serious I topic of animal serious, abuse. Okay. I just don't have enough knowledge of it okay. myself to have okay. a good conversation with you. Okay. Uh, well, I would like to have uh, you know what? I would, love to, I would love for you to, right now, it will take you one second, right? One second of your time, right now. If you do, do you care about pigs that are being supplied to Sainsbury's? Do you care about them? Do you care about what, what Sainsbury's reputation is? Very much so. Yeah, I would too, because you're putting your name on it, right? I just want you to see one minute of. Uh, I'm not going to do that right why now. Why not? I've, I've heard you. Why not? You I'm don't care. Go and look at you don't care. No, you don't. No, you don't. I will show. Suppliers. You have an opportunity now to see what pigs are going through in these chambers. This is our cameras that we put in here. You can see them suffering to death. I, I don't doubt that. I just need to see which of that relates to same trees and our suppliers, and I will do that, and I'll come back to you. <laughs> CO2 is CO2. This is 90% concentration, the same that RSPCA assured. Look at them trying to escape. Look at them trying to escape. CO2 causes immense pain, fear, suffering, asphyxiation, causes carbonic acid to form in their eyes and lungs. So they're literally suffering in, in torture. So look at it. Look at these poor animals. Please, just have some, okay. have some humanity. I do, which is why I'm talking to you, but the, the, the light I have to unpick is which of this bit relates to the same to so I Cranswick have okay. gas chambers operating so all over the UK. Okay. And what are they going to say? Well, we, there's no alternative. We're searching for alternatives. For 20 years, they've known this is doing this. They're not going to get alternatives. So, you, so we know people are going to buy bacon, and you supply what people want, but you need to tell them and make, so they can make an informed choice. That's it. I will come back. Okay, thank you very much. I expect you to. If not, we're going to plaster footage all over wherever we can and let uh, let the public know that Sainsbury's are misleading them and they're, they're completely in torturing pigs in gas chambers. All right, that's what we have to do for the animals. I will come Bless you. Thank you very much for coming out and talking to us. That was good. I don't expect anything to be done, but um, she showed a lot of courage to come out here. Yeah. That was brave. Yeah, yeah, yeah was like, go, credit where credit is due. People, but it's still walking in oh, like yeah. that when we're shouting and stuff. That takes some f***ing courage, you know? Yeah. Well. She, yeah. I commend her for that. Yeah. But this gross negligence, still animals are being tortured. I hope she does look into it. Yeah. But I'll give her the benefit of the doubt for now. Yeah. Because she had the courage to come up and, and, and approach us and speak to us. And uh, I think that I'm actually happy with that. And so she could have been a PR state. It, was a, it sounded a bit PR-y. Look, I've heard you. We're going to take it back. I've heard you. We're going to take it back. 
Um, like most of their pieces. Yeah, yeah, she was. Yeah, she she, she, she PR statement. She, she seems like exactly the kind of person that could do something. If she's brave enough to come out here. She's brave enough to go she to might. the big wigs. And Sainsbury's do always respond to investigations, but it is like we care about animal welfare. We are so, la 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 la, and nothing changes. Bit of lip service. Could be lip service, but give her the benefit of the doubt for now. But she didn't want to watch the peak. Like, wouldn't she be curious to watch the peaks? Yeah. Oh, she found it hard. She was like, you're complicit in their torture. Wouldn't you want to see it? Yeah. If you can't even watch it, why are you feeding it to children? Yeah. Uh, well, we've got enough cops here to do another protest, I think. <laughs> so thank you for. Achieved, uh, yeah, well, achieve something. I don't have high expectations, big industry behind it, but at least because she came up to us all, I thought that was very brave of her, actually. And uh, thank you for upholding our right to legal protest. Thank you very much. Are you, are you, is that it for your group today here? I mean, if we go protest anywhere, I don't know. We might spontaneously. I just can't. I can't guarantee. Yeah. <laughs> that was a, that was actually a good one. <laughs>